Hi everybody, I'm Kevin. Welcome to my channel. One of the big anxieties folks have on the trail is how long is their fuel canister going to last them. Today we're going to find out. So here's the experiment. I'm going to rehydrate a normal backcountry meal on my stove and I'm going to boil the same amount of water I usually do for a hot drink or to make my breakfast. Before and after each boil I'm going to weigh my stove to know exactly how much fuel I'm consuming and as the water is heating up I'm going to track progress using a temperature probe. Let's get started. So this is a normal backcountry meal that I have. This one's called beef and rice. It's uh, beef, rice, tomatoes, onions and spinach all dehydrated and this is 150 grams. This is normally what I make for a backcountry meal. Um, what I don't know is how much water I normally put in this or how much fuel I consume when I'm doing that. So today I'm going to find out. I normally just dump my meal in the pot, give it a shake so it levels out, and I just cover the meal with water. Just about that much. Turns out that amount of water is 300 milliliters. There you go, that's 100 degrees Celsius at 236. So now I'm going to put this meal in a pot cozy to let it rehydrate. And I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there for a good 10 or 15 minutes. So let's see how the food's doing. Oh, it's looking good. Beef and rice and it's fully rehydrated. Nice. So I've enlisted uh, the help of my daughter, Erin, to help taste test this food. Go ahead, tell me what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Two thumbs up. Good, all right, thanks. So a lot of folks have questions about pot size. How big of a pot should I use? This is one meal for me on the trail. It looks like a lot of food right now because I haven't been hiking all day. That's one meal for me and this pot is 1.35 liters. Um, so the pot's only about half full. Um, but I like that because I can stir around without making a mess. So just something to consider. And while we're measuring things, what volume of food did I actually produce? There we go. 500 milliliters of food, which is what uh, a lot of experts say you should have in the bush. Two cups, two cups of food. So the second test is gonna be in my MSR Titan kettle and I've got 700 milliliters of water in there, which is about what I use for hot drinks or for a breakfast. Let's get the probe in there and start this test. There you go. I plotted the temperature over time for both the food and the water. The water shows a very linear relationship, which I think was expected. However, the food takes a very interesting path to get to 100 degrees Celsius. So on the trail, if I have a normal oatmeal and coffee breakfast, I'm going to burn 13 grams of fuel.
I don't use my stove at all for lunch, so that's zero grams of fuel. At dinner time, that food I cook is going to cost me 10 grams of fuel. And that tea I love so much is going to cost me another 13 grams for a total of 23 grams. Do the math and that's a total of 36 grams per day. Each manufacturer is a bit different, but fuel canisters typically come in three different sizes, 450 grams, 225, and 110. I most commonly use the medium sized canister, which is 225 grams, and at 36 grams per day, that should give me a total of 6.25 days per canister. But what if I wanted to save a little more fuel and I changed my behavior? What if I skipped those evening teas? What if breakfast cost me 13 grams, I still spent 0 grams of fuel for lunch, and dinner I only burned 10 grams? Well, that'd be 23 grams per day, and that'd be 9.7 days per canister. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.